Hi, this is Kanna Babu. In the la- last class, we discussed about the make cell screen. In this video, we will uh, practically check how to develop the make cell screen. So, here in our make cell screen, here we are having several programs. The first program is I want to display the current system date and time within the label control. Right? As we already mentioned here, program number one, display the current system date and time in the label control. So whenever the cell, so here I will go to the toolbox and here I will try to drag and drop timer control. So here timer control will have a property called enabled. By default enabled is equals to false. Timer control will work only when enabled is equals to true. And here double click on timer control then tick event will fire. So in the form load event I want to enable the timer. So timer one dot enabled is equals to true. Right. And whenever the timer enabled is true then automatically tick event will fire. Within the tick event I want to display the current system date and time in the label 7. So here I will simply write label 7 dot text. Label 7 dot text is equals to system dot date time dot now dot to string is it clear so once press f5 and check the output here so i will try to log in with the salesperson username is anil and the password is anil click on sign in then here i will click on make sales and here if you observe the current system date and time is display is it clear i hope you understood that one and here program number two i want to auto generate the bill id as well as bill master id also auto generate bill id and bill master id right as we already created two tables in our database one is bill transaction and the other one is bill master so here in bill transaction you're having bid and in bill master you're having bmid so here i will write a separate two methods here within my make sales.cs private void the name of the method i'll give as bind or auto generate bill id auto generate bill id i declared one method here and here i will try to declare one more method something like auto generate bill master id to make the things faster i'll write the code so here i declared two variables one is bill id and the other one is bm id and within the auto generate bill id i create an object for auto generate class and call the auto generate id of bill transaction so here i will return one and i am concatenating this one and displaying the output in the txt bill id and in auto generate bill master id i don't want to display anywhere but i want to insert the bm id in bill transaction table as well as in bill master table that is the reason i am generating the bill master id also here if you observe clearly a whenever a customer come to the shop a customer can do multiple sales for each and every sales one bill id will generate for all the sales of one customer one bm id will be generated once you debug and check the output here and here we need to call these two methods in the load event so here auto generate uh, bill id and here i will call auto generate bill master id now here you press f5 and check the output use the username anil password is anil click on sign in make sales so here automatically the bill id is generated so we until now we uh, done three programs program number one display the current system date and time in the label program number two auto generate the bill id program number three auto generate the bill master id now here i need to write the program to bind the item types so in order to bind the item types here i will write one method something like bind item types and i think we already written this one in viewstock.cs the same code i have written here and here uh, we already have one procedure called proc underscore bind item types and i will call this method within the form load bind item types of right similarly here i want to write one more method uh, whenever user clicks on combo box one I want to display the item names 
so here i use i have written this code in bind item types here we already have a stored procedure prvc underscore bind item types and i am adding that items to the cb item type the, this is the same code what we have written in our viewstock.cs to make the things faster i have directly paste the code so here i will try to log in with username anil and password is anil click on sign in click on make sales and here i got all the item names and here you see veg pizza and chicken pizza and my next program is whenever user selects the item name that is veg pizza i want to display the price of the item in text box is it clear i hope you understood if you want i will show you this uh, stored procedure also you can check here the procedure name is prvc underscore bind item types go to programmability there you can see stored procedure here you can find prvc underscore bind item types right click modify and uh, similarly prvc underscore select i type from i master here you see prvc underscore bind item names here i have written the join query right uh, create procedure procedure name parameters at the rate i type select items dot i name from item master inner join items on um, item master dot item type number is equal to items dot item type number where i type is equal to pizza when you select pizza all the pizza items will come when you select burger all the burger items will come so on now i want to create one more stored procedure to get the price how to create create procedure proc underscore get price get price based on item name so at the rate i name data type is worker of 50 and here i will write as begin block and end block here i will write the query select price from items where i name is equals to at the rate i name press f5 so my procedure name is prvc underscore get price so whenever user selects the combo box to then automatically i want to display the price for to make the things faster i'll write the code automatically so here you can see whenever i click on the uh, combo box to then automatically i want to pass the parameter here at the rate i name based on i name i want to get the price so single cell values i used execute scalar so here i declared one variable instance variable something like double price and i want to display this one in the uh, text box txt price dot text is equals to price dot to string you can check it out plus f5 i'll try to log in with username anil password is anil click on sign in click on make sales here you select the pizza and here you select veg pizza then automatically it will display that and here the next requirement is when uh, user uh, when the salesperson so one customer came to the shop he want to buy three veg pizzas so the salesperson is entering what the quantity as three whenever you leave the text box the quantity that we want to sell the number of items that we want to sell must be less than the quantity that is available in the items table is it clear so here you are having items table now here you see there are nearly in the items table let us assume there are uh, five edge pages are there in the shop in the food court now one customer wants to uh, purchase nearly seven veg pages so when i leave the quantity text box it has to automatically uh, check whether the stock is available or not if the stock is not available it has to display the error saying that no stock i hope you understood for that i will write the code so here uh, within the make sales screen right click on quantity go to properties there you can see events and there you can uh, check one event called leave event is there whenever the control leaves the text box i want to get that one so here first of all i want to write the uh, uh, program to get the quantity from uh, items table right for that i will write the procedure here something like uh, here i will try to create a procedure create procedure proc underscore get quantity based on i name or here only you can get we already have one procedure okay you can write not a problem 
at the rate i name data type is varchar of 50 right here i will write as begin block and block and here i will write the query select the quantity from items where i name is equal to at the rate i name right press f5 this is my procedure name and here to make the things faster i will write the code so here if you observe in the quantity leave event i create the connection open the connection pass the procedure proc underscore get quantity so this procedure will get executed based on the input parameter i name the result of the procedure is the quantity if i select veg pizza here you will get the number of veg pizzas that are available five and i am comparing here i declared one variable called as quantity items quantity in items table and i am comparing the this quantity is nothing but the quantity that i am entering in the text box this quantity is nothing but from items table if quantity is greater than quantity in items i want to display the message saying that no stock you try to log in with anil and password is anil and here make sales and here i will select the pizza here i will select veg pizza and there are only five veg pizzas are there in the shop now one customer asks i want seven veg pizzas so press stop it will display the error message saying that no stock and if you give four it is working so here else i want to display i want to calculate the total amount so how to calculate total amount here i will try to declare one variable one variable i will declare as total amount double total amount is equals to 0, 0.0 initially so here i am calculating the total amount based on quantity into price and i am displaying the total amount in the total amount text box so once debug and here check the output login with anil and anil click on sign in click on make sales and here i will select the pizza and here i will select the veg pizza and i want to buy three veg pizzas so what is the total amount 180 is it clear and uh, if i buy something like uh, so now wherever user clicks on continue button we'll see the remaining programs in the next next video i think we complete up to uh, program number seven right and uh, in the next video i will discuss about program numbers eight nine ten eleven in order to understand this video these programs in a better manner you try to check the previous video so for more videos you can subscribe to my youtube channel and you can uh, log into my facebook group www.facebook.com slash group slash world of dot thank you have a nice day